What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video, we're focused on understanding the major pentatonic, so let's go. So like today's video title mentions, today's video is all about major pentatonic. And maybe for some of us, it's getting a better understanding of the major pentatonic. This is a video I wish I had when starting to play because whenever it came to major chord progressions and soloing, I would always default to minor pentatonic, you know? minor pentatonic over a major chord progression. Not really the best sound, but it does sound cool. And it wasn't until getting into the Grateful Dead and diving much more into the playing aspect where major tonality and major pentatonic really had to come into focus in my playing. So with that being said, let's dive into getting a better understanding of major pentatonic. So before we dive headfirst into major pentatonic, let's do a quick recap of major scale, as well as a couple of major scale shapes that in the context of major pentatonic will be very helpful. So with that being said, for today's video, let's be in the key of D major. Very simple key. So the first shape I want us to check out, let's call it D major version one in today's context, right? Check it out. If you notice, it's just taking two shapes of caged system and combining them essentially. Our A shape, as well as our G shape. So again, let's call that D major version one. Let's check out D major version two. Again, that's combining caged shapes, our A shape, our G shape, and our E shape. D major version two. <laughs> Now let's do G major, whoops, D major version three. Mm -hmm. 
here we'll descend our C shape. Pretty cool, hey? Again? And so essentially, those are, you know, just broader ways you can see D major, as opposed to saying super linear. But then again, it's very useful to know all these shapes individually. So with that being said, our recap of major scale, let's now dive in to major pentatonic. So when it comes to major pentatonic, we can think of it as a more slimmed down version of our major scale, right? Where our major scale looks something like this, again in the key of D major. To make that major pentatonic, we're gonna slim it down to only our root, second, third, fifth, six, back to our one. Again, root, second, third, fifth, six, one. So now the fun part happens. Remember that version one scale from our previous scene? Let's slim that down to major pentatonic, and it's super simple. Root, second, third, fifth, sixth, root, second, third, fifth, sixth, one. Again, we took this big scale. And slimmed it down to only the core notes. Root, second, third, fifth, sixth, one. Amazing. Let's take a look at our version two, D major. Let's do the same thing. Root, second, third, fifth, sixth, root, second, third, fifth, sixth, one. D, let's say version two, major pentatonic. And now our third version, right, where we started up here, or down here, sorry. Let's do the same process. Root, second, third, five, six, root, second, third, five, six, root. And there are our, for today's context at least, our three versions of taking our major scale and making them major pentatonic. So now with that being said, let's do a quick cut and come back to see how we can incorporate those two when creating phrases. So when it comes to mixing the major scale with major pentatonic, it's actually super simple because remember, our major pentatonic scale is essentially a more toned down version of our major scale. So for example, if you were to play a phrase like this, That's very D major pentatonic, right? Five to six, root, second, six, back to root. If 
we want to make that a bit more major sounding or with more major scale notes, something like that, where I still have the same bass skeleton. Then do a slight bend, C sharp to D, B, A, G, our fourth degree, slide to major third and land back on root. Another one, for example, could be. Again, major pentatonic, but using that G in there. Barring that fourth from the major scale just makes our tonality a bit stronger. Another cool one, for instance, that I'm sure you all know. Um, major pentatonic, also outlining a D major triad, essentially. You could finish it off like that. Right? These aren't, how would you say it, life changing phrases, but it is really important to know the context that, yes, they're both very major sounding, but it's good to know when it's major pentatonic based or major scale based, right? So now let's see it in some context. That is today's video. I really hope it gave you a better understanding of the major pentatonic. Like I said in the video, that for a long time, whenever it came to soloing over a major chord progression, I would always default to mixing minor pentatonic with the major third. And at times it would work, other times not really. But then again, when getting into the music of the Grateful Dead, major scale and major pentatonic really came into play and really forced me to get a better understanding. So I hope this video was helpful to you as well. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.